Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy from Video Aerial Systems, and this is my Valkyrie Flying Wing. Offered in both a receiver-ready pre-built version and a kit version, the Valkyrie is a performance flying wing that focuses on simplicity and durability. What separates the Valkyrie from other flying wings besides its unique silhouette is the fact that all of the electronics are encased in a central pod that protects the electronics in the event of a crash. Should you manage to crash hard enough to damage the airplane where it cannot be repaired, you simply unbolt the pod with the two bolts on the bottom of the aircraft and bolt it into a new airplane and you're back in the air in a matter of minutes. The Valkyrie has a flight time of approximately 30 minutes and a top speed of 85 miles an hour, making it an excellent entry-level racer. The ready-to-fly version offers an extremely large, very powerful motor offering a 1.5 to 1 thrust to weight ratio, allowing the vehicle to accelerate straight up and down for vertical performance. It also comes with a high-performance microcam and a high-quality 40-channel 5.8 gigahertz video system. So if you're the type of person who wants to go out and fly and not waste a whole lot of time building, this is the flying wing for you. Connect the servos and the speed controller into the receiver per your radio manufacturer's instructions. You'll want to set it up for flying wing, or Elevon mixing as it's sometimes called. The video transmitter is simply plugged into an empty channel. It gets 5 volts from the video receiver via the BEC in the speed control. From here, turn on your radio and connect power to your battery. Next, you need to verify the servos go the proper direction. Pulling back on the stick should lift both control surfaces, or pushing forward should drive them both down. Left and right, the stick should point towards the side that moves upward. Finally, you need to bump the motor for rotation. The plane should thrust towards you. If it does not, reverse any two of the motor wires. In the neutral position, the elevon should be tilted slightly upward as in this photo. You don't want it to be excessive such as here. The elevon should be up approximately one eighth of an inch at the tip more than if it flowed with the rest of the airplane. I have the video transmitter removed for detail. To set up the video transmitter, press and hold down the button for three seconds until both lights illuminate. When they do, you're in channel change mode. Press the button briefly to change the channel. Hold the button for an additional three seconds to enter the band change mode. Again, to change the band, press the button briefly and it will cycle through the bands. The video transmitter is set up by the factory default at 25 milliwatts. To increase the power, hold the button down for 20 to 25 seconds to unlock the transmitter. The blue LED will then go out. From here, press the button briefly to change the power. Two blinks of the blue is 200 milliwatts, three blinks is 800 milliwatts. Then hold for three seconds to exit the menu. Okay, despite being a flying wing, launching the Valkyrie is pretty simple because it's got a lot of power. So what you want to do is you want to grab it like this, thumb on top, four fingers on the bottom like that. You want to grab it right past this little transition right here. Then what you're going to do is point it up about 30 degrees or so and guide it into the air. This isn't so much of a throw as a guide, this plane's very powerful. Throw if you want, but just take it, throw it into the air, grab the sticks and start flying. So, it looks like this. 30 degrees up, throttle up. For those of you who don't like the sidearm launch or feel it's a little intimidating, you can do an overhead launch. This thing has more than a one to one thrust to weight ratio. So even if you left, let go of it going straight up, it will continue to go straight up. And here's proof. You grab the plane by the nose, lift it straight up in the air and over your head. The thrust will push the nose over and keep it going. What you don't want to do is pull too far. You don't want to pull the nose over so it goes down. So you want to release it right when your hand is about right here, right in front of your face. Let go, but keep your arm going to make sure it's clear of the spinning prop in the back of the airplane. The launch looks like this.
The third method of launching is with the goggles down. I reserve this for people who've never flown an airplane line of sight, as this is the most difficult way to launch a plane and you need a friend to do this. I'm gonna do this by myself because, well, I've launched hundreds of airplanes and I have a lot of experience. But either way, if you've never flown an airplane before, have a buddy launch, you can have your goggles down ready to go. Again, we're gonna use the sidearm launch, but I'm gonna launch goggles down. Again, have your buddy launch and you fly goggles down. Here's how it goes. Point the, point the plane up again. Ooh, I'm off balance. Uh -huh.